this is Wash Ashore and today I want to talk about envelopes, uh, what they are, and where to find them. So you're asking yourself, what's an envelope? Well, think of it as a flexible adjuster, kind of like a rubber band. Well, for starters, let's check and make sure that everything's turned on so you can see the envelopes. Uh, go to View audio envelopes and make sure everything's checked on and then view video envelopes and make sure everything's checked on that way you can see them on your timeline pretty simple just right click on your track list and go to insert remove envelope and click on mute after that you'll see a green line on the top of the track and that is the mute envelope you can double click on that line uh, in certain areas and add points and then just drag the line down that's between the points to basically switch off your video in specific areas. It's really a on and off type envelope, nothing in between. Either the video is on or the video is off in between your points. Okay, next is the composite level. It's basically the opacity transparency level and you can right click on the track list and go to insert remove envelope and composite level is there. Click on that and you'll get an envelope. Again, you can double click on that line and add points and drag the points to wherever you'd like them to be. Uh, it just gives you a fine tuning over the opacity of your track. Next is fade to color envelope and again you right click on the track list go to insert remove envelope and go to fade to color. On fade to color you basically fade from one color to a next on your track. I believe the default is white to black. Uh, you can change those colors. Again, right click on your track list and right below switches is fade colors. You can start off with top and change the color there. To change the bottom color, right click again. Go to fade colors again and bottom is there. You can start out and end with any color that you like. You can start out with just regular video and fade to another color. It's very flexible as I say that's what envelopes are for. It's up to you. Okay next is velocity envelope and you have to right click on the clip for this one. Right click, go down to insert remove envelope and then click on velocity and it will give you an envelope there and I made up a little project here with the airplane uh, as you can see you can double click on that line add points and move them up and down. It'll speed up the clip slow it down, uh, make the clip go in reverse. The thing to watch out for though is that if you shorten a clip and you speed it up it will add some of the old footage that you cut off the end of the clip you have now. Also if you slow down the clip you can also lengthen the end of the clip. The thing about the velocity envelope is that it doesn't change the end of the clip when you change the speed of the clip. Again, I hope that makes sense. You'll just have to experiment with it and you'll see what I mean. Okay, next is the transition progress envelope. And obviously you need a transition for this to work. So right there I have a fade in. And so I'm going to put a transition on that. Choose any that you'd like out of the transitions and 
right click on that transition when you get that between the clips. Go down to insert remove envelope and click on transition progress. Now you'll see that there's a envelope for your transition. You can make that speed up, slow down, go in reverse, whatever the case may be. The only tip that I have is that it should start in the bottom left and end up in the upper right because it'll cut it off abruptly if it stops anywhere not in the upper right. So you'll just have to experiment with that. But this works good with long transitions of several seconds. So give it a shot. I'm just going to play this through a few times and it'll show you uh, that you can slow them down and then reverse them and speed them up, whatever you'd like. Okay, let's move over to the audio envelopes. These are all in the same place. If you right click on the track list and go to insert remove envelope as mute volume and pan. Let's go with mute. Basically works the same as video mute. You'll see the envelope on the track. You can double click and add points and just drag the points wherever you'd like them. It works the same as video. Your audio will either be on or off in that selected area. The next envelope is volume and again it's right click on the track list and insert envelope. It'll give you an envelope right in the middle of the track and again you can double click on that envelope and move the points up and down. Uh, a lot of times you'll have uh, music with a voice above the music and it makes it very easy to adjust the music so you can have a little background music under the voice. Okay the last one is pan and that basically lets you adjust how much you hear on the right side speaker and adjust how much you hear on the left side speaker. You'll just have to put points in the track and adjust it and just experiment with it. I don't know of too many reasons to use this, but I guess for fun, go ahead and, and use it and see what happens. So, other than that, there are some other envelopes like FX Automation. If you right click and go to FX Automation Envelopes, you can take a look in there. It's kind of advanced, but um, take a look, see what's in there. Also, if you go to View Audio Bus Tracks, it will insert an audio bus track and you can uh, experiment with that. Same thing with a, a video bus track. Go to View and click on Video Bus Track. There's a couple of envelopes in the video bus. Just right click on the video bus track list and there's motion blur amount and video super sampling. So you can experiment with that too. So, Well, that's pretty much it for today. Thanks for watching. This is Wash Ashore.